Years ago today, a Lee County man shot his girlfriend in the head who was seven months pregnant at the time. New tonight, Skylar Reese tells photojournalist Darnell Crenshaw about her road to recovery. She says she's 99.9% .9 back now, but how is her baby? Well, Reese gives us an update. Well, he shot me, and I remember all of it. It was September 4th, 2020. I was shot in the back room back here. It was my room at the time. Um, like, I don't even want to go back there. Skylar Reese says her then boyfriend, Logan Biggs, was angry that she was going to leave him. Reese saying he was on drugs and had to go. That's why he shot me as I was about to leave him. He shot me like right here and the bullet's still in my head. Reese was seven months pregnant with Biggs' child, slipping in and out of consciousness from her bullet wounds. I died three times on the table. She was worried about her baby. I was like, I was like, you've got this baby girl. Doctors at UK were able to save Reese and she left the hospital four days after the shooting. Her next stop was Cardinal Hill for rehab. It's a miracle. Like, I'm like, I can't believe I can talk and walk again. They said I would be a vegetable. As for her baby girl, Raylan, she was born full term. And it had no effect on Raylan. Like, She's a God-given miracle, but she's perfectly okay. Three years removed from that traumatic day, Reese's life is in forward motion. She will be starting nursing school next year, and baby Raylan will celebrate her third birthday in October. Reese, now 23 years old, will always have that bullet as part of her life. I think I can't ride roller coasters anymore. I'm pretty sad about that. <laughs> Reese says that she does have short-term memory problems and three fingers on the right side of her body are numb. As for her boyfriend, Logan Biggs, he was convicted of attempted murder and tampering with physical evidence. He is eligible for parole in February of 2029.